Inspector de Tacos of Dub. Hey there, my name's R Dub, AKA the Taco Inspector. Think of the work that I do as kind of a community service, testing tacos throughout Arizona and the country and the world, that is. Now imagine the meeting that these guys had when they had to come up with a name for the taco shop. Hmm, what should we call it? Javier's? Tacos Ricos? Tucson Tacos? What should we call this taco shop? How about the Taco Shop? Easy enough, let's see if the tacos live up to the name. We're at the Taco Shop on Broadway in Tucson. And it is time for another world famous taco inspection. Surprise inspection, taco inspector. Here to uh, inspect your tacos. There's my card, my credentials. All right. Are you ready for me? Uh, sure. Carne asada. What are we doing today? We got some good carne on the grill? Uh, yeah. Okay, can I have two carne asada tacos? He's the boss. He's paying. Uh, they're the boss. He's also my bodyguard. The tacos are here. Thank you, sir. Appreciate it. Let's head over to the condiment bar here. We have a problem. I cannot seem to locate Pico de Gallo. It's kind of concerning me. My heart's beating pretty fast here. Uh, no Pico de Gallo. Looks like, I mean, it looks like there's some tom tomatoes and onions on the on the taco itself. But uh, I'm gonna ask. I'm gonna ask. If they have Pico de Gallo. This could be a major issue when it comes to the sombrero ratings. Do you have Pico de Gallo? Uh... You see the concern in my face. That's a legitimate concern. Pico de Gallo, missing from the salsa bar. From the tonic bar. Worry on my face there. This could be bad news. Hey! Nice! Sorry, right, I was uh, scared me for a second. My, my heart skipped a beat. It's a sunny day in Tucson, Arizona. I thought, why not have some outside patio seating? View of the lovely Broadway Boulevard close to downtown. Let's get it started. Would, would you excuse my fingers? I hope you will i didn't bring a spoon out and i am starving put guacamole on i didn't necessarily ask for that but uh, that's okay nice little surprise here's some lime these are huge tacos by the way uh, you might need to help me eat, eat some of these but that could, could you help me thank you thank you thank you wow these are hot and heavy and big here we go one two three hey hey all right, these are good tacos. These are good tacos for the taco shop. Uh, they, they gave me a corn tortilla. It's kind of kind of a surprise. Maybe, I forgot to ask for flour, maybe. But uh, as corn tortillas go, it was okay. It wasn't the freshest. Didn't uh, didn't taste like uh, like non-amated in the back. But uh, nevertheless, it was okay. Um, thank goodness they broke out with the pico de gallo. Actually, the surprise pico de gallo at the end. Pico de gallo was good. Lots of good cilantro and onions and fresh tomatoes, juices. Uh, Let's talk about the carne asada. I thought it was good. I didn't think it was amazing. I thought it was definitely good carne asada. So the official taco rating, one to five sombreros for the taco shop. We'll start out with one. Here's two, three, three and a half. Three and a half sombreros for the taco shop on Broadway. You heard it from the inspector. And we'll see you next week right here on Suvita Taco Inspection. When we return, we visit with artist Francisco Rodriguez and take a look at a music video from Aventura. Ha, ha.